Well, what do you do if you ever find yourself face to face with a lion? I think about that quite a bit. Yes, it's something that you? can keep you up at night. <laughs> well, the answer is exactly what this guy did. Don't move a muscle, in the words of Marvin oh, the Martian. This makes me nervous just looking at I it. I know, we found this video on liveleak.com for your viewing pleasure. It's only two minutes long, but arguably the longest two minutes of this cameraman's life. As you can see, all he could do wow. was stand still and just wait for that lion to hopefully walk off. He, if you look really closely, you can actually see him smile once it decides not to have him for dinner. Oh, look at look that. Oh, look at that. Uh, yeah, the relief. Well, that you know, moment like when it got closer, uh -huh. it stood there for a while and then got closer. Wouldn't you think this is it? Oh, this absolutely. Is it. Yes, but how do you stand there? I mean, I would have... I don't think I could have stood there. Well, that's the thing, as they always say, yes, you know, stand still or, or play dead, perhaps. But, but it goes to against your instinct. Realistically, do that, yeah, because you'd be, he you know, you might be hyperventilating and trembling. Because the response is fight or flight, and mm -hmm. he did neither, <laughs> and it's hard to do neither. That's very true. <laughs> He's wow. got his amygdala under control. Lucky. I, mean, I wonder if he is actually continuing his job or has decided, you know what? I'm good. <laughs> I don't know. He lived to tell the story or show the so. pictures, so perhaps, you know, he's up for more challenges. Wow. Well, that encounter with the lions makes this next animal adventure look pretty tame by comparison. At least these photographers have a cage. But even with the cage, it's got to be pretty unnerving to get in the water with a giant great white shark. Now try doing it in the dark. Mark Brackley has dove with sharks for 20 years and has never witnessed a sight quite like this. Giant great whites, inches away, slicing through the darkness. I need tape. I need oh. another tape. How was that, I man? I saw a huge one, dude. It was unbelievable. Oh, give me the camera quickly, Here. man. Get the tape, bro. Oh, that was unreal. Like what the hell? What did it look like? It was freaking huge. He came by like a submarine. Now, if he's excited, you know it was a big shark, right? <laughs> it's a clip from Shark After Dark, a new special airing on the Discovery Channel for their annual Shark Week. Yeah, Andy D. Hart is one of the marine biologists featured in the program. He is joining us now from the Aquarium of the Pacific in Long Beach, California. Good to see you, Andy. Hi, how are you guys doing? We're very well, thank you. We were looking through some of these premieres, noting this one that you participated in called Blood in the Water, about the true story that inspired the story of Jaws. We actually didn't know that that was a true story. Well, yeah, Discovery's annual Shark Week kicks off this Sunday, uh, looking at a show called Blood in the Water, which looks at five fatal shark attacks that happened in 10 days in 1916 in the Jersey Shore. Now, that's not the true story of Jaws, but it is the backstory that Peter Benchley used to write his horror novel, Jaws, which obviously turned into the huge box, box office smash Jaws. Now, that was an extremely unusual circumstance that there would be that many